he needs it in a few shots time. And once again, he hasn't got the right side of the blue. Yeah, it looked like the cue ball bounced a little bit there. I've just gone back to a shot a few moments ago where he had the chance to get that pink back on the spot. It would have made life so much easier for him. Let's just have a quick look at that red just before the blue. Let's see, does it jump a little bit? 34. Well, this will be a nice little shot here. Swinging this around the angles to get back on blue or pink. Yeah. Oh. 35. Yeah, have a look at the red here. There you see it jumped a couple of times before it reached the pocket. Now, the red to the right of the black would be his preferred choice. <laughs> Somebody just, uh, when you got a cough, you got a cough, but it was just as he was about to deliver the cue there. He's got to screw this down right over the pink spot. Well, he's got the cannon on the reds. And he didn't play for that. Tried to miss those reds and get on the red. That was open. Four. Still got a healthy lead. He could try and just skinny off this red and maybe run into the black if possible here, Dennis. Try and put the black on the top cushion. He knows Alan. He's going to want the black into open play if he gets a chance for a counter attack. Well, he's put the red on the left-hand side cushion. It was a very clever shot. Excellent shot. Alan Measley taking that red off the side cushion, but he's left Mark Selby a pot here. One good pot should win him the frame. Nice. Very, very good. He's been queuing so well all evening. One. Let's have a look at this again. Right in the heart of the pocket. shot that should clinch this final frame of this session, you'd have to say. 42 the difference. Four. Pink obviously pots and Dennis, I have to say, I mean, if he keeps up this form, and he's still not playing at his best, but there's plenty more in the tank for Mark Selby, but he's going to be hard to stop at this this rate in this championship, no matter who he plays. Well, he's going to take this session. He's going to win eight Ten. out of the nine frames because they had the extra frame to play in the second session. And yeah, it doesn't matter Eleven. who he plays. Mark will feel he's in with a great chance here this year. Doesn't matter about that. He's 50 points in front, just lost a bit of concentration. So, barring snookers, it's eight out of nine for Mark Selby, and he'll only need one in the morning. One. The red's in a good position for the first of the snookers that Alan needs. So, Mark, I just thought, there, got down and 
and he thought the the frame was over and missed a sitter. And he could find himself in a tough snooker. Yeah, that one's going to stun the red up in the bulk, but ideally he wants to try and get this red as close to one of these bulk colours as possible. Just makes the getting out of snooker so much more difficult. And well, he's totally quit on that, on that shot on the backswing. That was, what we say, deceleration on the backswing, and, and that's why the cue ball ran on that few inches. Well, that's a good shot he's played there. Now there's enough room to slip around the back of this red and hit the black. Uh, but not, not angles. He's not going to make that mistake. And he's got the snooker back and Mark Selby's. <laughs> well, I think he thought... Uh, He'd have been in his dressing room now. And he just got down and uh, I don't know if it got a kick or not. But he just thought, well, it's over. Uh, look at the brown and blue. You know, they're not badly placed. If he doesn't want to uh, play in behind the black, he could send the red behind the black and get the white up behind brown and blue. Not a bad effort, this. But quite easy to escape from. In fact, he can just bend it slightly anyway. Now you've seen it perfectly. Bend it like Selby. Hasn't quite got the same ring to it. <coughs> White's close. Yes, he shakes the hand. He knew he pushed the red over the pocket. It hasn't been a great session for Alan McManus, but the gesture from Leicester, Mark Selby, has won eight out of the nine frames, and he's only going to need one frame to get through to the semi-final, and that'll be tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock.